What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Bunce, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today, we are talking about how much money MLS players make. This OSA video is sponsored by our parent company, BelieveInItApparel.com. Shop and buy a Believe In It shirt. You will love it. It's the same quality you expect, but the inspiration you want. When it comes to pro sports, everyone wants to know how much money athletes make. I don't like to talk about money and what people make and what their salaries are, etc. And my feelings are if you live with a smile on your face and you're living your dream, then that makes you very successful and wealthy. Having said that, I wanted to do this video to show you how well MLS, Major League Soccer, is doing. I wanted you to know that if you are a male player with a dream to play pro in the US, then MLS is a great place to make that dream come true. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to play pro, watch our How to Play Pro in America video here. MLS is improving every year on and off the field. The facilities are great and the player salaries are nice. I'll highlight a few player salaries and at the end of this video, I'll give you a link to check out every player's salary in the league. First off, the big guns. Michael Bradley of Toronto FC makes $6.5 million. Clint Dempsey of the Seattle Sounders makes $6.695 million. Cha-ching! Jermaine Defoe of Toronto FC makes $6.18 million. These are yearly salaries, by the way. Chris Wondolowski of San Jose Earthquakes makes $650,000 a year. Yes, that doesn't seem like much compared to $6.6 million but it's beyond an impressive salary for a player that played Division II college soccer. Chris is a personal favorite player of mine. Those are a few of the MLS designated players. A designated player is a player on a team that can have a higher salary and only have $387,500 of that salary count against the team cap of $3.1 million. Now, for some of the more normal salaries. Steven Leinhardt of San Jose Earthquakes makes $257,000. Chad Marshall of the Seattle Sounders makes $286,000. He's a defender. Ned Gravaboy of Real Salt Lake makes $175,000. Salaries for non-designated players in MLS range from $36,500 to $387,500. The league minimum is $36,500 for players below age 25. For players over age 25, the league minimum is 48500 One player I want to point out is Jeff Laurentowitz. Jeff is now the captain of the Chicago Fire. He was one of the last draft picks when he was drafted as a rookie in 2005. He sat on the bench his first year or two in the league. He earned his playing time, and now he's a solid veteran that any team would love to have. Jeff makes $251,000 a year. That's a quarter of a million dollars a year to play pro soccer in America. Jeff is a perfect example of hard work paying off. He wasn't the best when he got in the league, but now he's an MLS all-star. To read the full list of MLS player salaries, click here. Like I said in the intro, the main point of this video is to show you that MLS is doing well and it's a strong league. I'm very proud of MLS and very thankful for what they do. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Our free weekly OSAE newsletter comes out every Tuesday. We feature new training videos, youth player spotlights, motivational quotes, and much more. Post a comment and let me know what you think of this video and MLS player salaries. My name is Jared Monts, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, Anything in life is possible. Believe in it!